What do you think would happen to the silver price and gold price if, just if, we went into a full-blown depression? Yeah, we'll skip right over recession and go right to depression. What do you think would happen to the value of the silver that you hold, the gold that you hold? We're going to talk about that and the likelihood that we could go into a full-blown depression in this video. Hey everybody, welcome to Ron's Basement and I hope you enjoy my daddy's show. Well, let's dive right into this idea of a recession. Did you say recession? No, depression. Have you ever noticed in life that a lot of times what happens is what you don't expect is going to happen? Life is full of unexpected circumstances, things we can't pre prepare for everything. What we're hearing from the Fed right now is that we're having a soft landing. But then there's other people talking about, no, 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 we're in a recession or we're going to have a recession. What about a depression? Nobody's talking about a full-blown depression. I think, I don't know how you feel about this, but I think the odds of a full-blown depression are much higher right now than any time in what the last 100 years since our last depression is a new report from the fed okay that shows that we're much likely in a recession guys lending has 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 ground to a halt in this country lending stat standards that the banks use the threshold to get a loan now from a bank, whether it's a car loan, a home loan, business loan, a small business loan, the standards have been ratcheted up, up, up. Banks uh, are making it very hard to get loans because they don't have the money to loan, okay? But at the same time, it's very interesting, there's also much weaker demand for credit. Why? because people don't want to borrow money now because the rates are so high. Are you seeing where this is going? And on top of that, with this unbelievable crazy inflation we've had, people can't afford to even. The rates are higher and they have less money to spend on monthly payments. Everything is grinding to a halt and these new Fed reports are telling us just that, okay? People can't afford more debt. And, and the kicker here is everything's grinding to a halt. And when it comes to the economy, you ever, you ever make lemonade, you squeeze a lemon or you squeeze an orange to make orange juice? They've squeezed everything they can out of the U.S. consumer. They have squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. And now, with this current high interest rate environment, with this current situation where people, businesses, are, are having their sales are going down people are have uh, individual people like you do you feel it do you feel it people just don't have the money to, to even borrow let's get back to this fed report the data shows from the fed when when borrowing when lending contracts the way it has there's like a 95 percent chance when we're at the level we're at that we're going to have a recession remember i think we're going to have a full-blown depression and what is that going to do to the silver and gold price okay u.s banks this is a report the u.s banks are worried about uncertainty they're worried about the value of the collateral they have on commercial real estate the collateral means they loaned out 10 million dollars on what they thought was a 10 million dollar office building and now they're realizing that that office building is no longer worth $10 million. It's only worth six or $7 million, okay? They're worried about collateral and all types of things. Used car loans, so much going on. They're worried about, obviously, the value of their U.S. Treasury holdings, right? Those have dropped. The 20-year uh, TLT ETF, as an example, has dropped by 50%. These banks are in big, big trouble, and they know that the consumer and corporate uh, entities are under financial duress, it's really getting scary right now, okay? And the value of collateral is diving, okay? We're seeing credit card defaults going up, way up. Car loan defaults are going way up, way up. And we know next year, we haven't even felt, guys, we've not even begun to feel the full effects of this commercial real estate bomb that is heading at the United States. Banks don't have the money 
to lend to small business. Remember, small businesses are the backbone of the United States economy. And the banks don't have the money, right? Everybody's pulling their money out of the banks because they can get paid higher interest other, other, uh, elsewhere. The banks don't have money. Small businesses are getting suffocated and many of them can't even afford to renew their new loans because they're zombies. And we've covered that. We'd like to thank our sponsor, First Mining Gold. They're a Canadian gold developer with two world-class projects in Canada. They also have a handful of other projects. When you total up all the gold in their resources, it comes to over 12 million ounces. They're worth checking out. I'll put a link to the company's website in the description below. Banks see extreme uncertainty. That's another takeaway from this latest Fed report. So what we're gonna see are more bankruptcies, right? And less activity. Restricted credit equals recession. Uh, and we've not even, here, sit, th this is a key, a key point of what we're talking about here. What we're talking about how difficult the current environment is, we've not even felt the full effect of all the Fed interest rate hikes yet. It has not bled through because of the uh, delay effect. It takes six to nine months for the effect of an interest rate hike to go all the way through the economy. If the Fed continues with this hawkish stance, but why is nobody talking about a depression? And isn't it always, like we know that it's there, but nobody wants to talk about it. Isn't it always, have you, haven't you experienced that in your life? Like it's the things that you don't think will happen that you're not preparing for that actually do happen. And I wanna tell you, I think, I'm not saying for sure we're gonna have a depression, okay? I don't wanna be known as the doom and gloom, whatever, but I think the chances of you and me living through a, de a depression are much higher than any of our contemporaries want to recognize or realize. What will happen to the value of your silver and gold? I'll tell you what will happen. They will save you, okay? No matter how you slice it or dice it, no matter what kind of math or calculus or geometry you want to apply to it, okay? The value of silver and gold, whether it's a a horrible deflationary environment or hyperinflation, which is much more likely in that scenario, gold and silver will maintain their value. If you do want to get your hands on some gold or silver or platinum, this show is sponsored by Pimbex, P-I-M-B-E-X. That's my online bullion dealer that I work with. Go check them out. If you want to get yourself the best prices, to me, that's key, but also feel comfortable that you're dealing with a trustworthy company. Do your own due diligence. That's what I do. That's what I recommend you do, right? I don't give financial advice. I just tell you what I do. I found Pimbex to be the best. I think you will too. Do we want this to happen? Do you want, I mean, you know, no, I don't want it to happen. I don't want the wars that are going on to happen, right? Think, think about it. But We've got, to, we've got to be like making decisions, living in reality, not living in some Pollyanna world of, of CNN or MSNBC or even Fox News, any of those. They're not telling us the real, the real stories, what's really going on out there. And that's why you know, we choose to be prepared. And again, I'm a firm believer that silver and gold will be fine under any scenario that includes a depression. You know what'll happen. The Fed'll react super quickly. They'll pump up the value, amount of cash in the system, and, and the dollar will be diluted further, and the value of silver and gold will maintain and do actually do very, very, very well. That's the only thing they can do. The system has become so sensitive, so delicate. No matter what happens, things have escalated. This crappy situation where the Fed's even kind of, their data is showing that we're going into a recessionary environment. We've got, we've got more coming down the road. Looking at a weather forecast. Oh my gosh, this is a great way to think about it. You know, you pull up the radar on the Weather Channel app on your phone or whatever, and you, you know where you are, and you know that the weather travels from east to west. Imagine a giant thunderstorm, okay? And where you live, the thunderstorm is only like a third of the way through. We got two thirds of the thunderstorm coming 
still when it comes to the lag effect. It's the big lag effect on thunderstorm coming from the Fed. We've now crossed the point where the interest on the national debt is now over $1 trillion per year. Think about everything we just talked about, okay, with the economy, with the potential for a depression. And then factor in that we've got this $33 trillion in debt, and now for the first time, the interest alone on the national debt is over $1 trillion per year. I really appreciate you, yes, you being here. You really are the most important part. Be good to yourself. Be just good, nice to yourself today as you can. Like, always try to do your best to be nice to yourself. It's like the best place to start, and actually the people that are around you benefit more uh, when you're at peace internally. And this is not a self-help show, so I'm going to shut up. This is a silver and gold show. Have a great day, okay? I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.